Right, we're going to create our fab icon here and I like to use GIMP, J-M-P, which is a free image editing software, but it's useful to create things like this. I'm just going to start by creating a new file. I'm going to make a square. The actual size doesn't matter too much, just make a square. And I'm going to give it a background color. It's a pinky color. And then I'll go and put the letter N in white. And I'll use the Arial Bold font. It says N, and I will just increase the size until it's a good size on the pink background. I'll just move it into the middle-ish. There you go. Happy with that? So I'm just going to merge this letter text layer down onto the pink square, and I'm going to go Image Auto Crop, which just crops the top of that, so it's a and then I square now, and I'm just going to scale this image down to 16 pixels by 16, which is the size you need for a fab icon. And then that's it. Just go ahead and export it here. But you need to call it favicon.ico. And that's the format you need, and that's what the web pages will understand. I'll just save that to the desktop. Leave those default settings. I'm going to shut this down now, and there you can see I've got my fab icon ready to go, and we're all finished. So there you go, that was a really quick guide to creating your own fab icon ready to use on your website. I've got a lot more videos, including one that shows you how to upload your fab icon into the right place so it shows up on your website, as well as lots of other tutorials and guides. So make sure you head over to neilcurtis.me, and I'll see you over there.